Okay, let's have a look at the FTSE from last week and go over what it is telling us. So, we already know that we've been moving sideways for, it's really, it's over a month now. The market has not really been doing anything. Um, for me, last week, the more likely move was to come down. Uh, we broke down on the 10th and then shot back up again on the 11th. So really, it was a false breakdown. Um, and then we had this down day right here on the 5th of April. Market came down. For me, this is where I really wanted to see the selling coming in after this down day here. However, the next day, pre-market, the market was already up and we subsequently rallied. Basically, what I said to subscribers um, after we've seen these two days here was now my outlook is a lot more neutral. Uh, we've had two false breaks down now. The market hasn't been able to maintain it. It's basically coming down to this 6,065 level. And the market came down here, bounced. It's came down here, bounced right off of that level, came down on the 1st, couldn't quite get there and bounced off, and then again on the 5th, down onto this 6,066 level. So it's really holding uh, very well. So basically the market is still in its range. Nothing has changed there. And it's just trading in between. You know, when the market is trading like this, you're just looking for your evidence until we start breaking out of the range to the top or to the bottom. You know, you're just trading as the range. Don't um, read anything else into it. You know, we're not seeing anything yet. Even on the 8th of April, we shot up. Let's just have a look on the five minute time frame. We shot up on the 8th, um, but again, it came right into this level right here, 6,215. Um, really, it's been 6,220 down to sort of 6,200. You can actually see the, the resistance right there. If you put in the um, support and resistance line, you can see the market's there all the way across here, tries to push up and falls away again here. This really has been where the market has been rejecting to, to the upside if you look at it you know on the four hour time frame you can see this sideways chop a lot more clearly and the market is basically stuck in this range and all we're doing is trading it as the range that's all I'm going to be doing next week until I get the evidence that the market wants to move one way or the other um, it's a very messy price action. Nothing has really happened at all. It's basically been stalling in the center of the range over and over again, and then falling down, pushing up, stalling, falling down, pushing up, and we're now back at the top of the range. So that's all I'm doing next week. And um, there's not really a lot more to go over, I'm afraid. You know, whilst we're in this range, it's it's pretty much the same each week.